Alam niyo ho, kami ho'y sa Bitag, uh, pumunta ho ng Estados Unidos and kami ho'y nakipagtulungan sa mga alagad ng batas doon para makita ho yung sistema ng kanilang law enforcement. Marami ho mga Filipino police na kasama ho naman at sinundan ho naman Sheriff's Office at mapalad ho kami na inalaw ho kami na to go with the Sheriff's Office and then yung 20 counties and cities na mga 20 police stations Pinipick ko the best to do yung sinasabing paglilibot. So, nakasakay ho kami. Matinik ho tong tinugis ho eh. Nalusutan ho ang bitag, pati yung US Cops. Panoorin ho tong. sa Northern California, San Mateo County. Sa tagong lokasyon, matatagpuan ang tanggapan ng Gang Intelligence Unit ng Sheriff's Office. Muling pinahintulutan ng grupo ng BTAG Team Ride Along na maidokumento ang malawakang operasyon ng Gang Task Force. Kakaibang uh, mga profile ngayon na uh, gamit itong mga gangs. Every year, nag evolve yung gang task force. Kakaiba last year, marami nang nadagdag ng mga armas. Nakuha to, Itong mga aktual to, Tunay, tunay. Yung iba are sort of like uh, props na ginagamit nila. Totoo to. These are real. Lahat to ginagamit to as uh, weapons. Mula sa iba't ibang police department, mabilis na nagdatingan ang mga miyembro ng gang task force. Sergeant. Kabilang dito ang Pilipinong sheriff na si Antonio so, Torres. We're producing this actually for Filipino communities and back home also here. Just okay, so be here every day and all this way. Just for the gang task force. Dumating din si Pinoy Patrol Officer James De Los Santos. Nakatalaga sa Neighborhood Response Team o NRT ng South San Francisco Police Department. Iyong pisahan ang briefing para sa sasagawang operasyon. May tuturing special na prebalahiyo itong binigay sa natin ngayon dito ng uh, San Mateo Gang Task Force sa pamumuno ni uh, Captain Doug Davis. Ito yung mga polis na to na nakikita nyo ngayon sa loob ng uh, kwarto. Uh, ito yung mga polis na coming from 20 different police departments. Uh, Iba-ibang siyudad sa loob ng uh, San Mateo County. Uh, trabaho nila tuwing Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Ito yung operations nila pagdating ng alasin ko hanggang uh, restos na tuwing araw. So, ito'y paglilinis ng kalansangan kung saan makikita yung mga nagbabangyang gaya. We want this to be safe. We want to do this right. Make sure you do proper officer safety. It's a huge thing. Uh, the gang bangers out there don't have rules of engagement, so we do. So just be safe out there, uh, be smart, and uh, make as many contacts as possible and make sure that you understand why we're out here. We're, we're not out here just to jack these people up, but we actually have objectives. And uh, talk to your team about that, your squads, to find out exactly what it is you're trying to do and what it is you're trying to accomplish. And uh, we'll have another successful tour. That's it. Thanks. So ngayon, relax pa sila, nag-uusap-usap at uh, ganito yung sinasabing bonding muna before the uh, operations out on the field. So maghihiwa-hiwala ito, ganito lang ng mga mobile patrol and uh, doon sa mga mobile patrol, may mga kataan din yan. Okay. I 
looks like we're kind of spread out with uh, search packets this time around, but we only have seven for the week, so that's a good thing. Agad naghanda ang lahat ng miyembro ng gang task force. Let's go over here. We'll get you guys suited up. <laughs> All set na kami. Para dun sa operation ngayon na nagagawa ng uh, San Mateo Gang Task Force. Sasakay kami kay uh, Captain Doug Davis, tulad din ng ginawa namin nung nakarang taon. Pero kakaiba to, mas uh, we expect na mas ma-action. Mga kasama natin ngayon, ibang team to. Mukhang sasakay nitong uh, Expedition, Silver Car, I don't know. Baka ito nga. Ay, ito nga. Joseph Fabrio. Isang wanted ng gang member ang unang nilang pakay. Parkwood Drive. Uh, and do you know what he's 1030 for? I think we'll, we'll play it safe. We'll sit on the house. Um, and then uh, let me call you back. That's dispatch. All right, bye. What's happened is there's a, a guy that we've been looking for. And we just got a call from one of our informants that says they think they know where they're at. So we're trying to pin down where that address is, and maybe we'll go sit on that for a while and see if we can find them. See if she could put, um, give you a description of uh, what he's wearing. That way it'd be a little easier for us if he comes out. Cool. All right. Okay, thanks, dude. Habang nasa daan, patuloy ang intelligence gathering laban sa gang suspect. Yeah, so 5'5", five five, anywhere between 5'5 five five and 5'8". Five uh, brown hair, brown eyes, about 175 pounds. We do have information that he is a runner, so as soon as he sees us, he knows he's wanted, he's going to run. So if he gets in the car, he may put everybody in danger with the possibility of, uh, you know, driving, trying to drive away at a high rate of speed just to avoid being a resident. In our county, if we if you get into a, a vehicle pursuit and the person you're pursuing is somebody that you know, we usually cancel that pursuit. Uh, just too many risk involved with uh, high-speed chases, especially using unmarked vehicles like this. So the hope is that we'll be able to get on top of him and put the grab on him before he gets to a vehicle. Or at least block him in a parking lot. Hey, Sergeant, it's uh, Doug Davis. Dahil positibo ang impormasyon, tinawagan ni Captain Doug Davis ang ibang grupo. And there's a spot behind that Starbucks would be a good spot to rally up. And we'll get the, and it's right next to there. And uh, the informant says they're sitting in there right now. So uh, we'll, we'll head that way and we'll meet you there. All right, bye. Perfect. So right now we're we called another unit to come uh, meet us so we could uh, come up with a game plan. So staging area, sasagawang final briefing. Ultimately, we'd like to sit on the place where he's at and see if we can get eyes on him. If we can get eyes on him and get, catch him coming out uh, and get him before he gets to his car, that would be the best. If not, we may be able to do a probation search of the home and see if we see him inside the home. But right now, we're fairly close to where he's supposedly at. Maya-maya lang, nagdatingan na ang lahat ng miyembro. Ginawa lang ang staging area itong lugar na ito sa likod ng mall. At malapit nandito yung bahay ng kanilang tinutugis na wanted. So titingnan natin kung ano mga susunod na hapang nagagawin nila. Pagbibita dito sa wanted na ito. Is a runner or armed or What's any, that? anything sketchy about it? Okay, so real quick, um, we're going to be heading over to 1616. Parkwood Drive right here in San Mateo. I believe it's right up off of De Anza. Um, person in question is going to be a Joseph Fabro. So he's 1030 out of Santa Clara County. Felony probation out of uh, Santa Clara County. He's going to have a tattoo of Bay Area on his, uh, on his arms. My plan is you guys sitting on one side, us sitting on the other side of the, of the location and just kind of sit for a little bit, wait for him to come out. We get a foot pursuit, have at it, you know, just stay paired up. If he gets to a car, We're gonna let that go. So if he gets to a car and takes off, we know who he is. Let him take off, and we'll uh, we'll get him another day. 
Tining na na Captain Doug Davis, Detective Gabriel Huerta at iba pang miyembro ng GTF ang tunay na katauhan ng suspect sa database ng San Mateo County. Look, that's the guy we're looking for. The person in there is on probation so we can go in and do a probation search maybe unless we decide not to. So depending on if we do, if we go in and do a probation search on the residents, we'll call more additional units just for backup on the outside while we make contact at the front door. The back end leads to a trail that goes all the way around Hillsdale and back. Well, if he takes off and starts running, then uh, Gabe and I will hang out at the front and you two can uh, go ahead and chase him up the hillside. Sound good? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Kumilos na ang operatiba ng gang task force. No clothing, no vehicle. We're just gonna have to keep our eyes open. I wish we had a blacked out tent, you know. Should be right. 16-16 right there. So, that's the house we're gonna Looked like the front door was wide open. That's the house with the with the blue car. That's gonna be the house. Isi na gawang stakeout sa di kalayuan sa bahay ng wanted the gang member. Before King David George two three six and uh, myself, 3 David, 51, and uh, 99 Sam 10 and his group were out on that uh, Parkwood call. Wanna wait? Matyagang nag-aabang ang GTF kasama ang team right along ng Bithag. Alexis just pulled up. He had eyes on us. You think it would be cool to uh, just do a probation search? Ilang saglit lang ang lumipas, naging mabilis ang pangyayari. 99 Sam, Tim, why don't you come down? We're going to do the uh, search now. He's just walking out into the front door. Nakantabay lang kami sa labas ngayon dahil papasukin na lang itong subject. Dahil gagawin lang probation search. So medyo baka may takbuhan to rito. Inexpect natin, hindi natin alam. Kung oposisyon yung ibang mga kasamahan ng mga kagagang task force. Gigilid lang tayo, baka posibleng lumabas dito sa harap. Si Doug Davis at apat na kasamahan ng mga kagagang task force sa loob na. Ginawa na lang option to probation search dahil nasa under probation yung wanted na to. Easy na gawa ang probation search. Bukas daw yung sliding door sa likod. Kaya uh, may hinala sila. Baka natunugan kami kanina nung tumambay sa labas. O mabilis ang pangamoy pag ang tao isang wanted, laging uh, tamang hinala. Kaya ang ginawa ni Captain Doug Davis, on foot, uh, pinahanap doon sa Filipino patrol officer na kasama sa gang task force si uh, uh, James De Los Santos ng uh, South San Francisco Police Department. Titingnan natin kung makukuha nila. Well, he's wanted out of another county for felony probation violations. So, basically, he's been arrested. 
and then he made another violation, which gave him a felony warrant. Uh, obviously, it's gang related. So right now, the officers are up that cul-de-sac in the bushes area there. As soon as the canine car gets here, we'll move up that direction. Pagdating ng dog tracker, sinimula ng pagtugis sa tumakas na suspect. Just come up on yeah. one. Yeah, you know Gabe Huerta? Of course. Yeah, he's up there at the top. Yeah. Negative three, David, 51 from three, Sam, 51. I'm sending uh, Marty your uh, canine up to you right now. You should see him in a sec. So you can see, this is the gate. This is the backyard gate. Okay, that's why he so he came out that gate, went up somewhere in here. So I've got officers that are in these backyards and this dog's a tracking dog. So he's gonna see if he can pick up a scent and follow him. The dog knows who's, who's gonna be chasing. This sheriff's office dog here, and this, this Marty is the handler. And what we have got is another officer with him, so you always work in pairs. So the handler is going to be a, paying attention to what the dog's doing, and the officer that with him is to protect the uh, canine handler, okay. right? Because all the attention of the handler is on his dog, so he needs another officer there with him to protect him. So right now that we know he came out that gate, so that dog's seeing if he can pick up a scent and then see if he can track it up through here. Yeah, you can put them on it. I guess, I don't know. Do you want to start up from here? No. Okay. All right. Uh, negative. They were out front a little while ago. I'm up on the top of the cul-de-sac now with the canine. They just, San Mateo just left, but, um, okay. Just on the beam, Marty, right there. Sa likod ng bahay ng wanted na gang member, hybrid na marijuana ang aming nadiskubri. All right, let's go, Gabe. Let's go do something fun. Yeah. I mean, he obviously took off out of this gate somewhere. He's either hunkered down up here on the hillside or he squirted out to one of the sides and got in the road. So, so unfortunately, we don't have a good perimeter around him to lock him in. So we're hoping we'll get lucky with a dog and be able to find him in one of these backyards, maybe just laying down or trying to hide. Nasa itas ng hill niyan. Yung dalawang K9 officers na may kasama ng sniffing dog. Kinala nila umakyat doon galing dito sa bahay na to. Bakyat nagover di ba ako doon sa freeway at posible ba kana hitch highway 92 na yun doon eh. Kaya yun ang kinala kanina. Paikot-ikot na lang yung aso. Wala nang maamoy na bagay na nanggaling dun sa suspect na wanted. So titingnan natin kung anong re-report ng dalawang K-9 officers pagbaba. Pretty aggressive up this driveway. Yeah. He got on odor like the fence, put his nose to the ground, went up, back out that backyard, came down here, good track, and then went to the fence, came down, a couple throwbacks down here, he hit the fence and he's gone. So he probably went up there, scouted out a bit, and then bailed up the fence. Yeah. And 92 is where we're at on the other side of that fence? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. 92 and Deandra, actually. Oh, okay. when I was coming in, uh, I go, oh, that's a good place to hide, you know? Yeah. Well, he took off there. up that hill, so. Nakatakas man ng gang member, patuloy pa rin siyang tutugisin ng gang task force ng San Mateo County. A couple hundred yards before you hit Highway 92. I mean, but if I were him, I would take the highest yeah. spot. Yeah, so what I... Wait until... Yeah. Wait until we leave. Yeah, just wait us out, however long it takes, right? Laying low, waiting for us to leave. And uh, if the dog can't sniff him out here, then we'll just take off. Get him another time. 